Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and thank you so much for 3,000 subscribers. That is a huge deal to me, that is so, so awesome. I've made this video once before, showing all the colors and skins for every character, but now there are a bunch more characters, and somehow I did manage to miss some in that video, so hopefully I don't do that here. Okay, so starting off with Jacko, her base design is pretty awesome. It's pretty similar to the eggs are of, like almost the exact same, but... Obviously, the new render looks amazing. Now, all of her colors. I'm not sure I'm too fan, too much of a fan of this one, the green and gray and orange. It's an interesting aesthetic, but it's kind of like all muted colors. It seems like they toned down the saturation. This one's kind of cool with the black underneath of the hair. That's quite unique. This one's like reminds me of oh, I'm not sure exactly who, but surely there's some. Um, creepypasta serial killer guy that this reminds me of, right? Especially the mask, it makes it even... Like, it's always the jack-o'-lantern creepy mask, but this one just seems even creepier. This one is my favourite, it seems the most Halloween-y, right? She's got the orange... The orange freaking halo, orange hair, and the green suit. It's just... It's just the best one, she looks awesome. And her, even though the two-toned hair is really cool, I like that she has an option where it's just... The hair that's one colour. I also really like this one. Blue and orange, or blue and yellow, is a really good color combo, and having the white hair on top makes it just even cooler. That's a very good Jacko costume, and it kind of changes her skin color a little bit as well, which is not something you really get to see with Jacko much. But, ooh! Okay, shut up about this one. This one is really cool. Purple and pink. Love number seven. Love number seven. They're always good. And the pastel, the pastel pink and light blue. Not too much light blue, it's mostly like peachy pink in this one. Pretty nice, but the mask, God, the white mask with blue eyes is just so damn creepy. It completely ruins any of the cuteness this would have had. <laughs> Orange, uh, she kind of looks like a prisoner, but it's okay. This one is just obviously maximum creepiness, maximum jack-o'-lantern that's going to murder you. Uh, nope. This one's also really, really creepy. Why are the eyes black with red and a red mouth? That is so creepy and it looks like she's wearing a jumpsuit that a murderer would wear. Very creepy. And then obviously the neon version. Gotta love the neon colors. Pretty iconic. Looks good on her, especially with the glowing blue halo. And the ball looks amazing when you're playing with her. It flies around with this glowing ball on a chain. It's pretty awesome. Anyways, that's Jacko. Now Nogoryuki. Nago's base design is obviously so awesome. Probably one of the coolest, coolest characters that's ever been introduced as a new character to Guilty Gear. He is just crazy. Like, what even... He's, like, cyberpunk, samurai, vampire. Like, what the... Too cool. Too cool. His base design's awesome, but his colors are also awesome, and I'm <laughs> aware. This one's kind of meh. All the colors are kind of the same. Not sure I ever like number two color. Number three, the bright red. That's always, always good. I see a lot of people using it, but the red coat and the red mask, really nice. Very, very yellow. It's the kind of strange colors on Nogoryuki, this one. Changes the mask color to a weird brown as well. I'm not sure I'm too much of a fan. This one I really like, the mint green jacket with like the kind of off white mask. This one is probably my favorite. It looks so cool. This one's really nice too, a blue and red jacket. He looks a lot more luxurious in this one. <laughs> than the purple and red jacket, like that one's equally as luxurious, except now he's blonde. And the pink, the, the pink's pretty iconic too. A lot of people I see rock this one, but uh, I, th I think it's more for jokes. The pink jacket, like, looks good on most characters, but not Nago, he's too intense for it. Orange and black, ooh, I like the, the black rimming of the orange and black, that one's pretty good. Uh, it's kind of all the one color, but I can see how someone would like that. This one's just like, you know, denim jacket, snug or you could go into the shops. And then, holy moly, this one is so ridiculous on Nago. <laughs> they make his entire body black and blue, and just make his sword a massive lightsaber. Probably the most ridiculous skin he has. Now, Milia. She's designed awesomely as well. I love that she's got like a proper coat going on in this game and she has like an actual normal human outfit that's like obviously really, really awesome and classy, but it actually looks like something, whereas other games it did not. It just looks like a bath tail or something. We've got a white version, 
We've got a red version with slightly darker hair. I like that one. Coming up to Christmas, probably a bit appropriate. This one, I think, is this the one that Leffen uses? Oh no, here it has blue. This one's pretty nice. It's cool how she changes the color of her hair, and I'm pretty sure it changes the particle effects of her discs as well. I'm pretty sure this one is purple. This one's kind of cool. It's like Leprechaun Milia, very yellow blonde and green coat. Yeah, this is, oh, not Leffen. This is not Lord Knight, right? Surely, surely, am I messing it up? Nah, but this one looks cool, and I'm pretty sure she has some weird color for her um, discs, like a purple or something. This is a really nice one, nice one too. Purple and a little bit ginger with the hair. A very blonde and very peach pink jacket. Changes the color of her eyes to a really weird color. It looks like she's got um hypopigmentation or something. Um, yeah, I like the orange jacket. Her hair's nearly white there. This one is one of my favorites. Like, it's literally just Black Widow, right? It's just Black Widow who is also Medusa and can control her hair. And then this one, you know, kind of casual, but Millie is not casual. And this one is obviously so awesome because maybe I, I just have bad taste, but neon colors are so awesome. Now Chip looks freaking awesome. I, a lot more beefed up than last games, but it has a similar design. I like his ninja outfit. This one's kind of like if he was uh, a peasant in a medieval movie. He's just brown and brown hair, wearing a potato bag on his pants. Uh, red? Yeah, nice. Black and black and yellow, yeah, pretty okay. Ooh, I like the green and I like the green and red hair. That one's pretty cool for him. Blue suit? Mm, yeah, I can see it. I can see it. Pretty good. Purple and ginger? Yeah, purple and red hair. Good combo. The pastel colors? I don't think it really works on Chip because he still has the weird black like gloves and stuff, and it com I'm no fashion expert, but I'm pretty sure that conflicts with uh, pastel pinks. This is a really cool one. I love how they just totally change his look, give him dark hair, give him an orange shoot, change the color of everything except for his gloves. They neither seem to change. And damn, too good. Uh, kind of vampire-y chip. And cash denim chip. Hey, look, they actually changed the color of the gloves here. Look, He looks like he's in the garden. Look at these gloves. And then neon chip. Oh, come on. Come on, it's too good. They changed the color of... He has glowing fingers. Guys, he has glowing fingers. It's too cool. Now, Soul Bad Guy, the guy, looks pretty cool. Seen him enough, though, don't have anything to say. <laughs> uh, this one, kind of trash, honestly. Red, red and white hair, that's pretty good. Ooh, I like that one. I, I think I really like the yellow coats with the black lining. And, oh, Leprechaun, Soul, maybe one of the best. This one's nice, too. Whoa, that's a... Purple jacket, make him ginger, change his skin color, and whoa, that's it. I don't see many people using this one. I feel like I've never seen it before. I'm kind of digging it though. Purple with the darker skin is kind of kind of a good vibe. I guess it was the same with Nago. Pink, pink actually looks really good on Soul, especially the black and pink. You're looking good, Soul. Uh, black hair with orange suit and then everything else is white. That's pretty nice. Uh, really, really dark soul. And he says he have red eyes. Okay, that's pretty cool. And Kaz soul and then glowing neon soul and then the best one, Kai soul. Where all of his flames go blue. Kai Kiesk. Cut his hair for this game, but he's still looking pretty, pretty snazzy and stylish. A little more casual than his last game though. Number two, I don't think I'm ever going to like the number two color. It just looks so weird. Red, that that's a really nice red coat and red, like, jumpsuit. Ooh, blue and orange. I really like blue and orange. And give him orange hair. Yes, yes. This one I see a lot of people use. It's pretty good. Green and, like, yeah, very, very nice. Like, silver hair and blue suit. This one's really, like, this one's so different, and I see a lot of people using it, because obviously it looks amazing. Purple jacket with the white jumpsuit and the black hair, and, like, pink eyes. That is, that is very vampire, maybe not vampire, but it's very cool. Uh, pink, oh, I'm not sure if Kai's rocking it. His hair looks kind of odd. This one's really nice. The bright orange and the dark suit and the dark hair. Red hair, oh. The vampire colors always look so good, and he has the little bit of purple undertones in his coat, really nice. Kajkai? Nah. 
<laughs> glowing Kai, yeah. I'll take a glowing sword and a glowing cape any day. And soul Kai, no. No, we don't need another soul. He doesn't need to have red particle effects. It looks bad. <laughs> May, I made a mistake last time calling her a child. Apparently, she just looks like a child. I don't know that much about May. Clearly. Other than she likes dolphins. Um, I really like her design in this game, how it's more of like a simplified and like casual just oversized jumper with some like speedo, swimming shorts, big boots, and a parrot hat. That color, man. Never gonna like number two. Red? Red on May? Not sure how I feel about that. This one's all, also kind of meh. Maybe I just really like the orange May. May. I do I do like her design. Leprechaun May? I feel like... <laughs> That's too much of a contrast, it scares me. This one's kind of nice, but I feel like May's alternate colors doesn't even look like May anymore. None of these have looked like May. They're just other random little children that are apparently not children. Pink, this one's, I, I do I do like this one. This one kind of works. This one too, but it's nearly the exact same, except she's a little, little more tanned. <laughs> Black and red. Oh, this one's kind of like uh, uh, the Supreme May mod that I've seen way too many times. Uh, no. No, no, no. Glowing May, though. Hey, yeah, I can get behind that. Now Zato. Zato, looking awesome, but basically the exact same as he usually does. A little more buff, though. White and black Zato? Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Except except for the fact that Eddie goes white, and that leads to... Uh, kind of sus, yeah. Red Zato? Uh, I don't know how I feel about his hair being brown. This one's pretty cool. Bright yellow Eddie looks awesome. This is my favorite Zato, because does Zato not kind of remind you of Poison Ivy when he has this color? Like, he controls this green mask that's kind of viney. He's got ginger hair and a green suit. Come on, that's Poison Ivy. Blue? Blue and ginger hair? That's kind of nice, but don't see it too often. This one's really popular, and I see why. Like a dark purple Eddie with black hair. It's very Zato, but just a little bit, a little bit extra edgy. Pink Zato? It's really wrong, but I kind of like it. <laughs> Orange and black Zato. Usually I really like that color combo, but I think it's too gaudy for Zato. Dark, dark black, red hair. Yeah, that works. This does not work. And yeah, that works, that works. That's my favorite one. A glowing, glowing Eddie and have all these glowing, like, blindfold and stuff. Ah, too good, too good. Now, Eno, one of my favorites. E Base design, Eno. Probably one of the best designs of the game. I'm probably biased because I play her a lot, but god, she looks awesome. This color? No, I'm never gonna like number two. Um, red? Red and blonde hair? You know? Mm. Oh, this one's cool. Yellow? Yellow with like the dark hair. See, that? I, I think she just needs dark hair. Any of the ones with dark hair look really cool. This one's good. Um, this one doesn't look like Eno at all, but it is kind of cool if you want to make her a little more light-hearted looking. This one's okay, but the hair, the hair just gets to me for some reason. Did I skip one? Yes, I did. That's how I skip one. I accidentally hold the button down. This one's nice. Even though she has weird hair, it kind of matches having white hair with a purple hat and the darker skin. And is the guitar? Oh, no, it's the same color. No, I like that one. This one... No, you can't have Eno wearing pink. Her pastel pink is not Eno's color. She's intense. Orange? Orange black? No. This one, this one I see people using, but where where are her lips? It looks like she put a lot of sunscreen on her lips. Like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, it just looks weird. This one, absolutely not. But this one, absolutely yes. Well, maybe not absolutely yes. It's a little, it's a little much and a little weird, especially since her base design is just so awesome and she has some other cool combos, uh, color combos in here, like this one. Um, yeah, this one might be a little bit much, but it's still cool. Happy Chaos. Now, here's one of our new ones. So, base design, awesome. They gave him a jacket so he's not totally naked. Uh, this one's nice, white jacket. I love how it changes the color of his skin to some, like, weird greens and like browns uh this one i don't know how i feel about the like uh, dark aqua with the red it's kind of kind of strange the grit this one this one is pretty awesome pink hair yellow it looks like he's wearing a raincoat this one's good this one's okay um i like the color of the jacket but i don't think the hair matches honestly 
I think he should have like um, either grey or this light grey body. This one's pretty cool. I like I like the blue and orange suit and the pink glasses are really what's tying this one together. This one's kind of cool, the green body with the purple suit and ginger hair. That one's pretty unique. I might rock that one actually. It's kind of cool. And <laughs> this one, this one looks really good on Happy Chaos. It's very chaotic. The like bright white body with pink tattoos and a pink suit and blonde hair and pink X glasses. It's a look. It's a look for sure. Orange suit actually looks really good with the dark body on Happy Chaos and the white glasses. Pretty cool. Now, th how'd they give him such a cool outfit? Look at this one. How's he? Lo <laughs> he looks like such a badass. Whereas, like sometimes he looks like an absolute iconic goofster, but like, yeah, a cool looking goofster. And this one, he's just like, literally just part of a gun. I mean, a motorbike mafia, whatever. I don't know. He looks awesome. This one, I I like how he has a two tone body. I don't know what that tattoo is on the middle. Or oh, does it say soul crossed out and then guy? And it's got a reticule. I like how it looks like it's giving him a t-shirt. That is pretty cool. I give it to number 11 and you look kind of cool. And number 12, yeah, yeah, you look cool. The inside of your jacket is glowing. That's awesome. That's iconic. And now for Angie. He looks awesome. Obviously, he's one of my favorite characters. I play him a lot, a lot. His base design's awesome. Where is nipples? No one knows. Um, Gray? Gray Angie? No, thanks. Red Angie. Now, this one, usually I'd... I haven't really said I like the black and red, but this one, he looks royal. He looks luxurious, like a a red suede couch. He looks awesome. This one, uh, nah, kind of ugly, honestly. This one's really cool, like the limey, limey colors with the brown um, bottom of his skirt thing, whatever, and the uh, darker skin. Very nice, very nice. I like that one. That's probably one of my favorites. This one is just more of a classic Anji, like changing his color palette to the old Anji design. So obviously it's good. Purple Anji, just as luxurious on the red. Super good. This one, I I feel like I was so close to liking it until they made his hair blonde and his eyes blue and his eyebrows blonde. Like his, something is wrong with his head. But I like the blue fans and the pink um, sleeves. That's really nice. Uh, I didn't say I liked the yellow one before, but this one's actually really nice. Having the yellow and the orange, I think, really, really works. It doesn't look like Anji at all, but it does look cool. This one, I feel like this is a little too intense for poor Anji. Anji's, Anji's not an edge lord. He doesn't deserve to have black and <laughs> black and red and red eyes. Like, what happened to poor Anji? And then this one, no. But this one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to have glowing fans and wear a black half kimono, whatever outfit that is. Leo? Leo white bag. Um, poor guy cut his hair and then just gave him a big coat that kind of looks like hair. I loved his huge hair, though. It was awesome. But his coat is pretty cool, too. So I have to give him points for that. This color? Um, I actually really like Leo with, like, the dark skin but i don't know if i like these colors on him they're kind of they're kind of ugly like it looks like he's wearing khaki pants all over his body his skin's kind of more olive here but i do like that mm, actually that one's really nice with the red cape and the dark hair and olive skin that's nice this one uh brown hair nah a leprechaun leo Ooh, yeah that's a good one this one's also really good, the blue coat and ginger hair, and the ginger, like, frills on the coat. Very good, very good. This one, I see a lot of people using. It looks nice. Purple coats, I guess they just always look good, especially with black hair. This one, I mean, this one just screams Sonic Fox. I don't think I've seen anyone else use it, but I've seen so much Sonic Fox gameplay using this that they've just made this character, this skin of the character, iconic. Looks awesome. I actually really like this one, the dark, dark pants with the orange coat. This one's one of my favorites. And this one is maybe my second favorite. Cause just because it's like a dark coat and it has the red underneath of the coat and then it gives him the red, what are the, oh wait, what are those called? I totally forgot. Crap. I know the word. Never mind. I forget. 
But it looks really cool having them be red, because I don't think any of the others really change the colors. Oh, this one's okay. And this one's really, really cool. It changes the colors of his... Oh my god, what's the word for those? I'm gonna put it on the screen or else I'm driving myself crazy. Faust? Looking a bit sad in this game, but, you know, his gameplay is as iconic as always. Pretty nice, but also very boring. It's actually not nice at all. I don't know why I said that. This one's really cool. I like the bright bright red scrubs with the, like, bright yellow gloves. That one's really cool, like rubber gloves. It looks like he's doing the dishes. This one's okay, but the color combo isn't great. Like brown pants with the yellow? No. Um, yeah, I like the green scrubs. This one's also okay. It's kind of the same as the red one. I think I just like the yellow gloves. Purple? Purple's pretty nice, and he, he kind of is keeping it all together. He's got light purple gloves, purple scrubs, and purple shoes, and then a weird green poison cylinder, I mean syringe, hanging from his crotch. Now this one, this one I kind of love. Having him wearing pink scrubs and like white shoes and white gloves, it looks so strange. He looks like a Looney Tunes character, like a messed up Looney Tunes character, but a Looney Tunes character, and it's pretty awesome. Uh, this one, yeah, the orange is okay, but he looks a bit like an inmate, huh? Oh no, don't make Faust even scarier. <laughs> Not the red eye. This one, no. This one... Actually, you can't see it, but the tip of his scalpel is bright blue, and I'm, I'm digging the glowing the glowing sneakers, Faust. You're, you're rocking them pretty well, and the glowing stethoscope looks pretty awesome. Axel? Oh. This is such an awesome design. He is... <laughs> for such an awesome design, when you look closely, you're like, what the hell is he actually wearing? He's wearing, like, elf shoes, a tracksuit pants with a weird belt with, like, a lunchbox on the front as a belt buckle... He's wearing like a half crop top denim shirt with a bunch of zippers as buttons and like a jacket. It's, there's a lot going on here, but somehow it looks so damn awesome. Oops. This color? No. This color? Eh, it's kind of okay. This color? No. I think I, I just really like the base design. Like, because he's got Union Jacks everywhere and he's got like a um, flannel top. Looks kind of weird in other colors. Oh, this one's kind of cool, in the bluey greens. See, this one's good. It's kind of like inverted colors, but it makes his hair dark. Mm, this one's meh. Yeah, this I see a lot of people using this one, and it kind of works. It doesn't look like Axel, but it, it, it has a look. This one's kind of okay. It kind of looks like, um, I can't remember his name. It doesn't look like Axel, but also looks cool. He does look cool with dark hair and orange. This one, no. Axel, you can't be that edgy. You, you, no, 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 no. Um, this one's okay. Looks like a royal UK soldier dude on his day off. And then glowing Axel, yeah, sure. <laughs> He's glowing. Potemkin, big boy. Um, he doesn't really change colors that much. Like, oh, now he's gray and green. That one's kind of okay. I don't really mind the colors for Potemkin, because, like, he's such a weird-looking character anyways. It doesn't matter what color he's in. Now he's red. Now he's yellow with red eyes. Bit creepy. I do like this one. Pink eyes and a green Potemkin. That one's probably my favorite. This one's nice too. Blue and orange. Purple. I see a lot of people using that one. Looks cool. I like green eyes. This one, man, this... <laughs> it's supposed to look goofy, but it looks so, so cool. Yeah, yeah, orange, also good. See, all of them look pretty good on Potemkin, but they all look like Potemkin because he's has such an iconic figure. <laughs> and then glowing Potemkin, obviously, he looks amazing. Gramlethal. Her design is awesome. So unique, so ethereal, badass looking. This color, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about making, like, her eyes and skin different colors. She just looks completely different and... She loses kind of that, like, mysticness about her orange eyes and her, like, dark skin and blonde hair. And then this is just, like, oh, it's just some random anime girl with big swords. Like, okay. This one's cool, too. This one I actually don't mind too much. Giving a, I think it, the eye color, really, even though you can barely see it, I think it does make a big difference. Having green eyes there looks really good. Ooh, yeah. That, that one's good. That one's good. Uh, it's okay. Whoa, that one is iconic. I see a lot of people rocking it, obviously, for a reason. It looks amazing. Green eyes, purple jacket, purple swords, too good. 
Um, yeah, this one is kind of goofy, but it's kind of kind of pretty awesome too. This one, yeah, blue and orange, blue and orange, mainly on the swords look really cool. How she's got that blue line in there, but yeah, it's okay. This one, I didn't think I would like, but having a vampire ram is such a big change. And she painted her toenails <laughs> red as well. She looks pretty awesome. Uh, this one's okay, but like, I don't, maybe I just don't like the color of denim stuff. It just looks kind of weird. And glowing ram, obviously, she looks amazing. Massive glowing swords. How could you pass that up? Giovanna, she's an awesome looking character. Very, more of a simple design, but just really really pulls it off um no i don't like those colors like what they're all like so unsaturated for a game like strive where everything is super saturated this one's okay i don't know i just really like her base colors so much the green dog with the orange hair it's too good this one's really really contrasting and strange but i kind of love it Ooh, that one's kind of unique too the light hair Dark skin and the dark green wolf. Okay. Okay. And purple eyes. Yeah. I'll take it. This one's pretty cool too. It doesn't look like Giovanna. She looks a lot more generic, but still looks nice. I actually really like this one. Keep. I think just she needs red hair. She looks so good with it. And even though the dog's purple, looks good. Or the wolf, whatever. Um, I don't think it really matches who Giovanna is at all, but this one does kind of look cool. <laughs> This one uh, looks kind of the same as another one we saw before, but it's still pretty good. Uh, she does look kind of normal, like with a brown wolf around her, except for the fact that it floats, but looks nice. Uh, why, why is she wearing a full denim suit? I don't like it. But this one, yeah, that's good. Keep her, keep her orange hair. Keep her base design. I love her base design. And now, finally, we have Gold Lewis. The big man himself. I'm just trying to remember. Yeah, so he's blonde hair, brown suit, basically. Just kind of switches the colors. Looks okay. I don't hate it, but once again, number two, not serving at all. This one's uh, okay. This one's pretty nice. I like the bright yellow, yellow jacket. Give him dark hair. Switch up his look. Leprechaun Gold Lewis. Absolutely. Absolutely. This one, he just looks like a generic policeman, kind of purple purple and dark hair that's a good look i think we say that every time it comes across but it's a good look pink gold lewis wait is this the pink skin yeah he's got like a more hot pink jacket than most people have like pastel colors but yeah that looks good especially with his white hair this orange and blue i think this is one sage and rocks right looks pretty nice um hmm actually yeah i was about to say it's a bit too edgy but it's not really edgy it's just like you know a black jacket, red tie, it's got blonde hair, looks good. Then, um, yeah, okay, Gold Lewis can actually pull it off, because he's wearing clothes that would actually make sense being denim, and then he just looks normal otherwise. And then, glowing Gold Lewis, glowing Area 51 coffin, looks awesome. Now, that is all the characters, finally. I think, I think my fav favorite base designs are Eno's, Giovanna's, Anji. And Nagoriyuki, of course, and Milia. They are probably characters that I never want to change the colors for because they've just got such awesome base designs. But uh, yeah, those are all the color colors for every character in Guilty Gear Strive at the moment. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you, I don't know, why would you watch this? To find, I hope you found a good color. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.